Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is my Google Glass. Now, unfortunately, this pair of Google Glass is not working anymore, and that is because the little uh, piece of foil at the end of the prism got all bubbly. And uh, when you look through glass, images just aren't really readable, and that one little piece of metal on the end of the prism just ruins the whole device. Now, fortunately, Google has the best tech support that I've ever experienced in any company, save for a Genius Bar where they can replace your uh, broken Apple products instantly sometimes. Uh, these guys got back to me by email right away. They asked me to take a photo of the problem. After a few emails, they sent me out a brand new Google Glass. Now, this is not the brand new edition that was announced right around Google I.O. This is the same exact replacement, and I'm just gonna unbox it really quick because I have to send these back. And unfortunately, I've done this a few times now, is my first pair of Google Glass was um, defective when I picked it up from the Google Glass store in San Francisco. The touchpad just didn't work and the voice command wouldn't work, so I got a second one. Uh, the second pair of Google Glass, the touchpad stopped responding after a while as well. Uh, these ones here, which are my third pair, the broken ones I have now, uh, got that weird bubble effect after about maybe six months of use, and they think it might have to do with heat. They asked me if I left it in my car uh, during a hot day or something. Obviously, with $1,500 glasses, I don't just leave them laying around my car. I live in a city uh, where something like that would get stolen pretty quick in a lot of neighborhoods. So no, uh, the only thing that I could think of is that I do drive a convertible a lot of the time, and as the summer heats up, and I'm not sure if that just had an effect uh, of these being on my head all the time, and uh, they said no, but other than, other than that heat, I can't think of anything else that would cause us. We have had reports of ha that happening to other people's Google Glass um, just sporadically. So I'm not the first guy for this to happen to. So Google was really gracious and replaced it with this. And here you can see the smooth edge. There's no bubbling and that's how it's supposed to look like. So very happy with Google for, for replacing this. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen an unboxing before, uh, Google Glass is pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing really to it here other than the glass on top. Uh, you do get a pouch, which is nice. This pouch, um, you know, it's kind of really chunky for being essentially just a sunglasses case. So if you're gonna carry your sunglasses around, you're gonna need a purse or a backpack or something and then you're gonna have to put this inside of it and it's pretty darn bulky. So what I end up doing is just putting them on my uh, head, sort of like a headband when I'm not using them. Uh, I do carry this around at all times though. Uh, it's a pretty nice case. This is the audio um, headphone. This is the headphone, uh, mono headphone here. Uh, pretty simple thing. I don't use it a heck of a lot, but if you're using um, the Google Glass for calls, it does boost the volume a little bit so it can basically be a Bluetooth headset. The other thing that's nice is that you can listen to uh, Google streaming music through this headset. There is a built-in speaker here on the Google Glass, but it is almost inaudible if there's any background noise. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this here like this, on, and there you have your headset. Google also has a little USB cable. Now, if you notice the USB uh, cable, the port runs uh, this way and the micro USB runs a different way. Now the reason for that is so that when you plug this in uh, it'll actually rest on a desk or a table uh, perfectly without damaging the prism or any other part of glass. Uh, you've got your USB charger here. Again, it's not anything spectacular and that's about it. Uh, I believe this is just information and the extra uh, eyeglass bumps so in case they're too small or too big uh, you can make adjustments there so that's it that's Google Glass um, really really happy with Google support here now this is what you get when you pay extra for devices I know this is experimental Google's trying to make a good show of everything but 1500 bucks it does buy good support this receipt the, they shipped it out yesterday I received it early this morning uh, via UPS uh, airmail and uh, like I said very happy with their support not so happy that this is my fourth Google Glass device, but at least they're standing behind this very expensive product. This is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is a Google Glass Explorers Edition.